Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's Nemesis. For those of y'all watching me on YouTube, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for us, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your specific situation, make sure you book a session with me i do all states i do all time zones i do all countries so make sure you book a session with me um my latest single love machine it is out now on all streaming platforms and it's also available here on the channel throughout the videos as y'all know i do make music about my narcissistic experience so you can search on any platform and also on this platform under the name terrell andretti and my music will come up about my narcissistic experience it is pop music so those of y'all that aren't big fans of hip-hop it's an easy listen um if you want to donate to the channel, the link is also down below in the description. Um, today, I want to talk to y'all about narcissists being the authors of confusion. The reasons why these people have such a strong hold on the majority of you guys is because the behavior is confusing. It's push, pull, it's hot, cold. It's why would they do that if they did this? Why would they do this if they just did that? And I thought this meant that because they did this in X, Y, and Z. And the reason why it's so effective is because confusion, it stirs up your emotions. And when somebody engages your emotions, whether they're good or bad for you, you kind of get addicted to the high and the low. You kind of get addicted to the unknown. You kind of get addicted to the what's going to happen next. So what happens is they keep creating questions with no answers. And human nature is if there's a problem, you want to solve it. If there is a question, you want to know the answer to it. What happens is they they provoke questions but they don't deliver any answers and if they do give you an answer it's unclear it doesn't make any sense it's open-ended and there's always a to be continued or next time on dragon ball z it just keeps fucking continuing and that's what keeps a lot of y'all stuck because you're always waiting on the part two. You're always waiting on the sequel. You're always waiting on the trilogy. You're always waiting on the season finale with them because their goal is to confuse you. The behavior is not meant to make sense. The behavior is meant to be open-ended. That way you stay engaged because if you get all of your answers, you have nothing else to seek with them. Their goal is to keep you engaged emotionally. Their, their goal is to keep you interested enough for you to pursue them and for them to get a reaction and supply out of you. So when you're sitting there thinking, well, why would they do that if they wanted to do It's not supposed to make sense, and it's not. Because y'all keep thinking that these individuals operate like normal people, and they don't. That's why the behavior is confusing because you're like, I wouldn't do anybody like that or I wouldn't move like that or I wouldn't. That's fine. But you got to stop thinking of how you would think and think about how they're showing you that they're acting. Because, like I say, that leaves a lot of y'all stuck because y'all are like, oh, well, I got to move like this because, you know, I move like this because X, Y and Z and they don't move like that. So I'm kind of confused. It's not supposed to add up. It's meant to keep you guessing. It's meant to keep you in a loop. It's meant to keep you in a cycle. Because as long as they, as long as you feel like they owe you some answers, you're gonna keep seeking them. You're gonna keep thinking about them. You're gonna keep calling them. You're gonna keep answering. Even after y'all done blocked and unblocked each other, you're going to keep engaging with them, whether it's good or bad. That's exactly where they want you. They're not gonna give you a clear cut answer on this, on this uh, situation. Because if they give you the answer, then what reason do you have to keep playing the game? Because the answer is going to give you everything that you need to know. And you're going to be like, whoa, I don't want to be involved in this. I'm gone. They know that. So what they have to do, they have to dangle the answers in front of you. Like, hey, if we just 
try this relationship again. I might change, I might not, but you don't know. But the fact that you wanna figure out if they're gonna change or not, that that's what they want. They You're gonna keep, you're gonna stay engaged because you're like, well, damn, maybe they won't change. But what if they do change for somebody else? So I gotta stick around and see how true that is. But I know it's unhealthy. You going back and forth and you going back and forth in the same, you know, that, that pattern, that cycle is what keeps you dealing with them. And it's unhealthy and they know it. They know exactly what they're doing. Like I say, this isn't some shit that they do on accident. They know exactly what they are doing. They've been practicing this for years and you are not the first and you are not the last person that they use this shit on. So you have to be aware. Narcissists use confusion to keep you engaged. It doesn't make sense because it's not supposed to make sense. And a lot of people get stuck in these situations because they keep trying to figure out why. And it's like, for example, if somebody cheats on you, you're not going to ask them why. Do you care why they cheated? Or are you just going to notate the fact that they cheated and that you need to move around or you need to you need, you need to get away from them? If somebody shoots you, I ain't never seen nobody get shot and ask the person, hey, why did you shoot me? No, you recognize you shot and you got the fuck on. It's the same thing with a narcissist. Like, and I get it, it's human nature to want to know why, 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 but the why is in the study of the disorder. The why is in the information. The why is in what you learned about this disorder. The why is not going to come from them because they're not going to give you a direct answer. And a lot of y'all get stuck because y'all want the reasons, y'all want the answers, y'all want the why to come from them. And when it doesn't come from them, you can watch all the videos that you want to. You can go to this channel, that channel, back and forth, all you want to. But if you don't get over the fact that the answers are not going to come from them, you're going to be stuck. And that's exactly where, you, where they want y'all. Because like I say, a lot of y'all are stuck because you're not getting the answers from them. And they're purposely keeping the answers from you for that reason. They know you want the answers from them and only them. And they're hoping that you don't gain clarity that you won't ever get the answers from them. You're not going to get a straight up answer from them. The people, the people on my channel that are survivors and made it through this situation, y'all can testify in the comments. You have never got a clear cut answer from them why they did what they did. You're not going to get a, a sincere apology. You're not going to get a sincere confession. You're not going to get a long ass letter um, that's genuine that tells you, hey, this is why I abused you. This is why I hurt you. This is why I did X, Y, and Z. If you do get any of that, it's going to be a bunch of orchestrated bullshit. A lot of y'all are confused because you're supposed to be. That's exactly what the disorder is designed to do to its victims. Confuse them. That way you're not thinking clearly. Because if you're not thinking clearly, you're gonna make a dumb ass decision. Because now that they got you confused, you're emotional. And remember I tell y'all emotion versus logic. When you start thinking emotionally, you do stupid shit. Because you are not meant to think with your heart. That's why your heart and your brain are two different organs. And a lot of times, any, I'm telling you, anytime you've been in trouble with the opposite sex, guess why? Because you started thinking with your emotions and not your logic. So what happens is you're in a state of confusion. So now that you're confused, you're not able to make sound decisions. And when you're confused, you're looking for answers. So when there are no answers, you will take whatever answers are being presented to you to get rid of that anxiety about not having any answers. So now that you're confused and you want answers, they're free to feel to feed you the bullshit. They're free to feel to feed you the lies, the manipulation, the gaslighting, and you'll believe it because you're looking for something to believe in because you're confused. 
That's why they want you confused because it's easier. To, when you're confused, when you're in a confused state, it's easier for them to feed you manipulation and you're more likely to go for it because you don't know which way is which and you don't know which way is up or down. So now they done created a space where now you're easily manipulated and whatever they feel like they want to feed to you, they're able to do it now because they have you in a state of confusion. You're not thinking clearly and basically any answer they give you, even if it doesn't make sense, it soothes your anxiety that you have for being confused. So that is why they have you in a confused state and that is why they are authors of confusion because they are their most effective when you are confused. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I need y'all to like the video. I need at least 500 likes on all videos so I can keep the algorithm engaged. Y'all have been doing great so far. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the description. If you need a talk, if you need a vent, if you need advice custom made and tailor fitted to your situation, y'all make sure y'all tap in with your boy so I can get y'all situated. I do all states. I do all time zones, all countries. So if you don't see a desired date or time, make sure y'all send me an email, which is down below in the description as well, so I can get y'all scheduled. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is down below in the description. Uh, my latest single love machine it is out now on all streaming platforms also i make music about my narcissistic experience search terrell andretti on all streaming platforms and i'm basically tell, uh, telling my story through songs so y'all can tap in and check that out and another day another way and you ain't gotta listen but i know you heard me